Radio. Today we're going to get in, we're going to cook a peppered prawn masala. It's going to go with the steamed rice. We're going to just turn the rice on, it's ready to go. Let's get into the pepper masala. Alright, we're just going to start off with some vegetable oil. We're going to bring that to the heat and then we're going to roast off our cumin, coriander and turmeric. So I cook this out in the oil for about two to three minutes just to bring out all those aromas of all those spices. Right, I'm now just gonna add a cube of pepper. Cinnamon, fennel, cloves, and cardamom pods. Get some onion in there. Give it a mix around. Just want to sweat the onion off a little bit. Don't forget to add some salt. You can always add a bit more later on. Right, I'm just going to chuck in the tomatoes. Now, just want to stew these out so the tomatoes are all cooked up. As that cooks out, you'll find all those spices, the flavors will come in and intensify. As they cook, uh, this tomato stew down. You'll also find that it becomes a bit more, uh, a bit more soggy. I have had uh, people comment, ask about if you can put tin tomatoes. You can put tin tomatoes. I just find putting in normal tomatoes a bit more fresh gives it a bit more freshness to it. Just going to add a bit of lemon rind to it. Just give it a bit of a, a bit of a citrus punch. Right, the masala is nearly cooked. We're going to take that off. Throw in a pan, we're going to get these prawns cooked and then throw the masala mix with it. Prawns cooked, we're just going to get in the sauce. So just put a bit of that sauce straight in. Turn it off, we don't need to cook it anymore. Bit of a toss. Right, we're done. Let's plate the rice up and get these prawns on the plate. A bit of coriander and some basil for garnish. I like a little basil. There we go. Peppered prawn masala with steamed rice.